Oh, hello. Come show everyone. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Let me kick my slippers off. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Hi, Kayla. Look at these fingers. Oh my goodness. Say, look at my Oreo hands. Oh, no thank you. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. I just got married this past Saturday and I wished I would have had a video like this explaining step by step what somebody did to do their own DIY wedding flowers specifically from Costco because we have a membership with Costco. I had read good reviews. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I ordered, how much it cost me, and how everything turned out in the end. And I'll tell you my overall thoughts on the quality of the flowers, the freshness of the flowers, and if they lasted until my wedding day and stayed fresh and beautiful. So the things I wanted were bunches of baby's breath for the rose lining the aisle. I got one bunch of 100 stem baby's breath and that was enough to line the aisle for filler for three big floral arrangements for my arch. Our boutonnieres, our bouquets. I think we had maybe eight bouquets of baby's breath total. They were just bunches and we just tied them to the chairs that were lining the aisle. I got 100 long stem pink roses and then I got nine eucalyptus leaf white rose bouquets and those, they came in bunches which was super nice but they weren't already wrapped in floral wire or anything. They were just bunched already so we could just add our pink flowers into the bouquets. And I highly, highly recommend setting a day, two days or a day before your wedding, maybe after the rehearsal dinner if you guys have ample time Time after your rehearsal dinner I would highly recommend that you recruit your bridesmaids and your mom and, and your mother-in-law anybody you can wrangle to help you with flowers it really will help it helped me wrangle the flowers yeah silly girl anyone you can get to come and just pick leaves off of the stems because you're gonna have to clean all the excess leaves off of the roses for your bouquets so it really helps just to have all your bridesmaids come so they can make their own bouquets and it seriously will save you so much time just having each person do their own and if they need help you're there to help them my sister was like everyone's go-to because she really has an eye and so she really just helped us get our vision and she helped me with a lot of my big floor arrangements it's really pretty self-explanatory and you're not gonna know exactly what you want till you get there I was I winged the whole process because like I said I didn't have a video like this to know what to do so I hope this video is valuable with the bigger floral arrangements you kind of just have to find what works but floral wire is highly advised another thing that I think is worth saying I did not do any centerpiece arrangements. Costco has this little crazy awesome deal where you can order like 5,000 flower petals in one color and it's only like $75 I think. Did you throw flower petals at mommy and daddy's wedding? You did. You did, didn't you? So we had enough for the girls to throw. We had enough to just throw throughout the room. So like on the dessert table, we sprinkled some. The fireplace mantle, we sprinkled some. On the head table, we sprinkled some. In front of the head table. And on each of the guest tables, we just sprinkled a little bit. We also had enough flower petals to put, I want to say 16 bins filled with roses lining the aisle. We planned to have people shower us with them for our recessional back down the aisle but our lovely two-year-old daughter Rosalie during the ceremony she was being watched my mom and Zach's mom were watching her she was just picking up roses and putting them into her basket but that very quickly turned into her picking up the flower petal bins and just dumping them so we didn't have the flower petal shower right back down the aisle <laughs> It's fine, I think it's super funny. <laughs> so I have a closing tip for you all. I know, especially in this day and age, if you're a modern day bride, you're probably utilizing Pinterest. It was a love-hate relationship towards the end for me with Pinterest because the final two months when you kind of have to make your final decisions on your look that you're going for for the day, that's when it can be a bad relationship because you, you get caught in like a Pinterest wormhole and you can't just make a decision because there's so many beautiful options and such good inspiration on Pinterest, but at some point you really just have to decide for each individual thing. When it comes to flowers, you have to decide what you want for everything and you'll have to just have a specific vision and it'll come together so much easier and more seamlessly if you decide, have a, at least a rough idea of exactly what arrangements you do want. So I'm definitely gonna show you guys a full list of everything that we ordered. 
and I took some videos of everything when I got here. My mom said I arrived in different days, which is something that I wasn't anticipating. They arrived se separate days, so one arrived a day early, and so just make sure if you're expecting the flowers, you have someone designated, someone there to specifically waiting for your flowers. I'm very lucky my mom wasn't working <laughs> because otherwise the flowers may have sat out in the heat and that really would not have been good. I also read that you don't want to put your flowers in the fridge. Yes, they do that at floral shops, but that's because they have they have a specific fridge for flowers because the humidity points are totally different and I guess putting your flowers in a regular fridge will kill them. So just a tip, that's something I read online. And then I'll show you the exact bouquet that I'm making. I already finished mine, so I'll show you it right now. And then I have one more I have to make for one of my maids of honor. So this is my bouquet and everything came in pretty great condition. The only qualm I have, that's the word, right? Qualm? Qualm? Okay, you can't really see it in the camera, but they came a little bit more green. I was just gonna do roses and the baby's breath, but it made these look more green to not have any greenery, so I love the eucalyptus. And so I just ordered um, a bundle of fillers, and the fillers that we got were these eucalyptus. These ones look pretty rough, but for the most part, it all came in really great shape. And then we got these. I'm not even sure what this is, but I really love it. That came with a bundle of baby's breath and whatever this is. So that was 100 stem green fillers. And then we got 100 long stem pink roses and then separate individual bouquets of baby's breath. Yeah, guys. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you know, I look ratchet right now. Like, I look ratchet. You're right. If you don't stop on the circle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have a BF. Solo agua tu manera. Si mueves esas caderas. Y bien pegadito a mí. Dice que. Dice que. Hay muchos pretendientes que tienes, pero no los ves. Porque solo ves uno y ese hombre lo hace también. Las duras. As you can see, we use zip ties, and I'm not gonna cut these because we discovered that when you cut them, it sticks out and it's a very... Oh, so pretty! Thank you, Jackie! It looks so nice! So now I'm gonna start working on my sister's bouquet, and as you'll see, it's easiest if you just start piecing things together. So just take it bit by bit and put them together exactly how you're gonna want the bouquet to be. But you'll see exactly what I mean in just a second, so stay tuned. Okay. You're going? Yep. You're doing it? I'm doing it. You're doing it? Okay. I'm doing it, son. Well, I am working on the previously stated bouquet for my sister, and this is kind of what we're basing it off of. So you're gonna wanna just piece it. Like, it's it's not gonna be perfect right away, and as you can see, these are like, it's just gonna look awkward, so you just break this one off. Take it piece by piece, and lay it how you want it to go, and hold it. <laughs> Grasp it firmly. <laughs> oh my god. For us, we wanted the roses to sit a little bit higher, so you might have to pull them up as you go. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Baby's breath is like, there's tons of different like levels of the stems, and they're gonna go all kind of in different directions, so. That's the one that's a little bit harder to work with. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is what pretty much all of them look like. So you just break it off at the most logical place and then do your best to work with it. And see, now you bunch it all together. And put it right there. And I saved a lot of money doing DIY because a lot of florists will charge upwards of three to four thousand dollars. Versus I spent 475, I think, on everything I got. You gotta just step back, look at it. My dad's watching football. It's a 
bride to love. A bride who goes crazy and says mean things to everybody around her. Do you think you'll get there? I certainly hope not, because I'm doing my absolute best to not be <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, do you think you'll be Bridezilla? No? Not even a little bit? Do you want to follow me while I add the greenery? Sure, just let me put this around my neck. <gasps> oh. Oh. Girl, I just said it looks bomb. Do I have a lie? You ain't never been wrong. You ain't never lied before. Don't even question it, bro. This is the finished result. I added just a little bit more baby's breath right here to even everything out, and I think it turned out really well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two zip ties around right here. I'll show you. Obviously, you stick the little thing in the hole, and then you pull it as tight as you can. And then what I'm gonna do for while I cut these is I'm gonna run them under some water. That, that's just what my mom to, has always told me that when you're cutting any flower stems, you need to run them under water so they're immediately replenished. I did want to note that we aren't putting any kind of ribbon around these until the morning of. I'm gonna designate somebody, some lucky person to wrap the ribbon around and super glue it and then I'm just gonna put one string of pearls. So it's gonna be simple. So that way with the zip ties on, they can just sit in water and stay relatively fresh. That's the hope anyway. We're winging this whole process, clearly. <laughs> All right, cut. Cool. My sister told me to tell you guys, you don't cut them until after the bouquet has been made. Wait till the very end to do any kind of chopping. That way you can just do it all at once. You're not chopping anything uneven and they're like, oh, I need to move this because it looks silly. All right, finished result. And, well, partially finished result. Really, really, really? Ooh, 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 This is gonna go on the arch on the top. I'll show you what we are trying to replicate. So this is what we're trying to make. Jackie's working on one of these side ones right now. She's got it hung up because she's smart. <laughs> so we just got these pre-made. Well, we've cut them and just cut a little piece off so we can build off of that and just put place flowers where we want them. And then I also have obviously this extra greenery that we're just putting where we want it. So this is how the middle center piece turned out. Arch is finished. This is the look. It's not perfect, but well, it's pretty dang close. These are the boutonnieres I never showed you guys. My sister made all of these. And they look really good. We put them in these little flower things because my mom had some. I'm sure you could buy them somewhere though. And then we crisscrossed these rubber bands and stuck a little layer of foam in there to keep them from sliding all over the place in the Tupperware thing. We made it work. We made it happen. We winged it completely. And I am very happy with how everything turned out. video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you found it valuable, 
make sure you subscribe. My YouTube channel is primarily health and fitness related. I'm very passionate about helping people become their most healthy and thriving selves. If that's something you're trying to do, make sure you stick around because I love to give you, stick around because I love to give you practical tools and tips to live your best life. I really hope you like this. If you did, click the like button, subscribe, hit your notification bell to be the first to be notified every time I upload a new video. If you don't click the bell, you won't be notified, okay? So make sure you click the bell. Click the bell. Bye guys. We love you. You little cookie mouth. So I do a lot of lifestyle, motherhood, and fitness style content if those are things you're interested in. Stick around because I upload two videos a week and you don't want to miss them. Alright, talk very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.